Hi and welcome to today's video. You may recall a while ago I assembled this E3D V6 all metal hot end and it was painful to watch the 10 or so minutes it took me to assemble the um, the glass bead thermistor and to get it into this hole in the heater block. Well E3D have kindly took pity on me and they've sent me one of their new cartridge type thermistors. It's a cartridge thermistor, it's exactly the same thermistor, it's just in this cartridge package and it has this awesome plug on the end. The, uh, the kit that they've sent also includes this aluminium block, which as you can see now has a hole for the cartridge thermistor and a grub screw to clamp it, as well as the, uh, the hole for the heater cartridge and the hole for the nozzle. And it also comes with this piece of wire. Now this piece of wire is about a metre long and it has the connector on the end to connect to the cartridge thermistor so it makes it much easier if you need to change the thing and it has this connector which will go directly onto the pins on your control board for, for your printer so we'll switch to the workbench and i'll show you how to swap it out so here we are at the workbench and the tools i'm going to use are a small pair of mold drips a pair of long nose pliers a two millimeter round key and a one and a half millimeter round key and the other thing i've got here is a 0.4 millimeter 1.75 hardened nozzle which I'm going to swap out as well while we're on. So let's get this stuff out of the way and let's get this done. So we take our E3D V6, remove the filament, um, grab a hold of this block with these grips, that's it, and then crack off this nozzle, just wind that out. Now mine has filament left in it, it's got red hips in it, but that'll purge out when you reassemble. It's not a big deal for me because I'm going to change it out anyway. And then unscrew the heatsink. It comes out with the heat brake already attached. If it doesn't, don't worry about it, just unscrew that as well. And then you take the 2mm Allen key, take out this bolt. I'm going to reuse this bolt in the new heat block and take out, we need that heater cartridge. Now this, with the glass bead, the mister in it, and the screw, you don't need that bin it. So you take your new heater block, and you put your heater cartridge back into there. Now, where it's thin is the bottom, so you put your bolt in there. And I like to try screwing this in, and keep the heater Oh, when it's tight, you'll see it still moves. So I like to keep the heater cartridge in the middle. So you have to kind of hold it in place and give it a good tighten to, to get it to get it working. There, that looks okay. Just give it another tighten. That's that it. Right, now you take your thermistor cartridge, slide it in that hole. Now you'll notice that the thermistor cartridge will go right in. Tr try and get it in, and but don't get any of it sticking out. Use the one and a half millimeter Allen key to tighten that up. Don't crush this thing because you will crush the thermistor cartridge. Just tighten it up until it's gripped. Now take your heat sink, screw that back into there until the heat brake is in line with the top of the heater block. I think that's it. And then you take your new, in this case, our new hardened nozzle. Screw that in. Grip that with these uh, this mull grip, and then just snug that up, and that's it. That's what it looks like when it's finished. It was really easy to do. Um, I'll give it a quick spin around so you can see. There you go. Well, wasn't that nice and easy to do? So much easier than those glass beaded thermistors. And if you want to see what it looks like with the fan shroud reattached, there you go. I even added a tie wrap just to keep all the wires together. So this is now ready to go back on the printer. Now you don't need to remove it from the printer to do this modification. I only did it because I'm moving the hot end to a different printer. But please remember when you do do this, once you've removed the filament from the hot end, please let everything cool down because you don't want to get burned. I just want to say a huge thank you to E3D for sending me these components. It really is hugely appreciated. So for now, that's it. And as usual, please like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Steve. Thanks for listening.